It may have been the case that the ground plan of the three great pyramids was physically established in 10,500 BC, perhaps in the form of low platforms. Or it may have been that precise astronomical records from that epoch were preserved and handed down to the astronomer priests of Heliopolis by the followers of Horus. Either way, we are still reasonably certain the pyramids themselves were largely built in 2500 BC when Egyptologists say they were. We are also sure, however, that the site was already vastly ancient by then and had been the domain of the followers, the sages, the senior ones, for the previous 8,000 years. And that was Graham Hancock all the way back in 1996's Message of the Sphinx. Back when I was still a young guy, his position was the pyramids were finished 2,500 years ago by Khufu. Now that's kind of weird considering that Hancock usually likes to push dates back as far as possible, so why would he be doing that? Well, I can't say for sure because I can't read Hancock's mind. I haven't gone on any of these ayahuasca missions with him, but my best guess would be it has something to do with the carbon dating. Well, hello and welcome to Debunking. I'm Dan, and in this episode, we're going to be discussing the carbon dating of the Great Pyramid. Dan, you crazy electrician, I hear you screaming, you can't carbon date stone. What the hell is wrong with you? And you're, you're right, you can't carbon date stone, but there's a lot of mortar in the pyramid and in a lot of the other structures from the fourth dynasty. And in that mortar, there's a lot of charcoal and that charcoal is carbon datable and it has been dated. And um, as a matter of fact, a lot of the fourth dynasty structures have been dated. So I'm not completely crazy, but this is something that's not very often talked about. And it's something I wasn't even aware of until recently. It's something that doesn't seem to be very publicized, which is one of the reasons I wanted to bring it up into this community because they have dated the pyramids. In 1949, the Step Pyramid of Dojer had a piece of wood used for the very first carbon dating ever done, really. They were confirming the half-life against the date that they already had on record, and the half-life was confirmed, and so they took it off. So right out the gate, Egypt has been like part of the carbon dating history. Then in 1984, the Great Pyramid and the other two pyramids at Giza were carbon dated by Mark Lenner, um, actually financed by the Edgar Casey Foundation, of all things. And uh, the dates came out to be about 374 years prior to what they were expected to be by mainstream Egyptology, but far, far younger, of course, than what the Edgar Casey Foundation wanted them to be, which was about 10,000 years ago. And in 1994, David Koch of the Koch brothers financed another expedition to date those three pyramids and many other fourth dynasty structures. This time the dating turned out a little bit better, about 100 to 200 years older than expected, a lot like my typical Tinder match. Now, Egyptologists struggle to explain this dating disparity. Usually they claim that charcoal was kind of recycled or that old wood was used, and this created older carbon dates, but that seems a little bit like a cop-out to me. At any rate, I'm personally of the opinion that these were multi-generational projects, maybe not necessarily as far back as Graham Hancock would say they are, but I definitely think that the actual building of the structure itself happened over the course of more like three or four generations, not one or two, one being the Egyptologist mainstream position. I believe the carbon dating obviously supports this, but I think there's other evidence for that. And if, if you'd like to hear me make a video and explain all that other evidence, let me know down below and I'll add it to my future to make list of things. It is a little funny to me that both sides of this debate get together long enough to gather the data for carbon dating. <laughs> Neither one of them gets the dates that they like. It's like perhaps Set is sitting there watching himself still playing his tricky little game. I'm a snake. Anyway, thanks a lot for taking the time to watch this far. Don't forget to like and subscribe, click the bell, and all that other stuff. We will see you next time.